Welcome to this Navisworks video tutorial for large assembly visualization. Navisworks is a unique technology for interactive visualization of any 3D design regardless of file type or size. The application offers users smooth, real-time, fly-through and walk-through capabilities. Designers can now navigate and explore even the largest and most complex models on standard computers. We can visualize complete 3D layouts of manufacturing plants and factories consisting of the products, toolings, fixtures, machines, and plant layouts. In this video, we are going to focus on the main visualization tools offered in the Navisworks application. The first tool we will demonstrate is the shading options or render mode. The shading options are located on the viewpoint ribbon. Users can display the design as seen on the screen in shaded mode. Other modes available include wireframe, hidden line, or if you've included textures in your design, you can display the model as fully rendered. We're going to proceed with the rest of the demonstration using shaded mode. In the upper right corner of the navigation window, you'll see the view cube. The view cube allows us to view our model from any orientation by simply picking on the view cube itself. If I pick on the front face of the view cube, I view the front of my assembly. If I click on the right arrow, I'll be looking at the right face. You can also click on the corners of the view cube to view your model from any isometric point of view. If you click on the home button, you'll return to the default isometric view. On the right side of the main window, you'll find the navigation bar. All the tools you need to navigate through your assembly are located here. The zoom window command offers us a quick and easy method to zoom into our assembly. When you start the command, you simply drag a box around a portion of the design you wish to zoom in on. If you want to zoom back out, you can click the home button on the view cube. As I zoom in to this part of the model, it's also possible to zoom out using the view all command. You access the view all command by right clicking the mouse and choosing view all from the pop-up menu. Many of the navigation tools allow us to orbit or spin around the model and view it from any orientation. If you just want to do a simple spin around the file, the constrained orbit command is the tool you want to use. Notice how the model remains flat along the ground plane as we spin it around. The orbit command allows us to spin the model and view it from any orientation. If you need to establish a pivot point for the orbit, you can use the focus command found on the right mouse button pop-up menu. Start the command and then select a component. This component becomes the new pivot point for the orbit command. For the next portion of our demonstration, I need to activate the visibility of the other components in the plant layout design. You can change the visibility of any object in your design by right-clicking on it and choosing Hide from the pop-up menu. The selection tree is a very handy tool for making selections in your design. I'm going to select the hidden components in the selection tree. Then I will use the Hide command on the home ribbon to unhide the objects. Navisworks allows us to easily move through our design using the fly through and walk through commands. I would like to demonstrate the fly through capability first. To use the fly through command, we simply activate the fly option located under walk on the navigation bar. If you would like to record your fly through, you can click the record button on the animation ribbon. I'll left click to start the flight run. As I move the mouse left or right, up or down, the flight path is adjusted accordingly. I'll click the record button again to stop the recording. Then I can click the play button to replay the recording.
There are two walkthrough commands available in Navisworks, the steering wheel and the walk command. Let's focus on the walk command first. The walk command allows you to navigate through your Navisworks environment as if you were actually inside the model. You simply hold the left mouse button down and drag in the direction you want to walk. If you hold the wheel button down, you can change your elevation in the assembly. You can also move to the right or to the left. If you roll the wheel, you can change the direction you're looking, moving your head upwards or downwards. On the viewpoint ribbon, you'll find the realism settings. The realism settings allow you to turn on the third person avatar. You can also activate gravity and collision. These options allow you to interact with all the solid bodies in your Navisworks assembly. The second walkthrough utility available in Navisworks is the steering wheel. Veteran Autodesk users will recognize the steering wheel that is common to all Autodesk applications. This command allows users to walk through a Navisworks model using a command they already know and are familiar with. To use the steering wheel, you simply select the category in the heads-up display that you want to activate. I will click and hold the walk section and simply move the mouse in the direction I want to walk. If I move to the left or right, I will turn in that direction. If I let go, the heads-up display reappears. If I click the look category, I can turn my head up, down, left, or right. The last thing I want to demonstrate is the process of establishing viewpoints and creating an animation between two viewpoints. Any point in your file can be a viewpoint. I'm going to expand the viewpoints window. To create a viewpoint, you simply right click on the viewpoints window and select save viewpoint. I'm going to call this one station B. I've already created stations A and C. And I've also created an animation by right clicking on the window and selecting add animation. To create the animation from station A to station C, we simply drag the viewpoints and place them underneath the animation. Then we can click the play button to display the animation walking from station A to station C. Let's take a few moments to sum up what we've seen in this presentation. Navisworks is a unique technology for interactive visualization of any 3D design regardless of file type or size. The application offers users many tools for smooth, real-time, fly-through and walk-through experiences. These visualization tools allow all stakeholders in the design process, from the design and manufacturing engineers to facility engineers and management personnel, the benefit of being able to collaborate and view the complete 3D digital model. Engineers can use the real-time 3D visualizations to help validate design performance, streamline the workflow process across the organization, and reduce waste, thereby increasing efficiency.